So in this tutorial I'm going to tell you how to install Rocket Dock. And I'll include a zip file that will have all the icons and skins you could possibly need. Now first off we'll need to open our browser and search for Rocket Dock. You need to click on download. Being here, just click on download Rocket Dock and save the file to somewhere you'll find it easily like your desktop. Once that's done you just need to open it. Select your language, in this case English, then OK. Click on Next. I accept the agreement. Next. Choose where you want it to be installed. Then click on Next. Create a desktop icon if you wish. Click on Next. And install. After that's done, just click on Finish. So let's say that you don't want to go around looking for icons and skins and other things. What you can do is go to a link that I'm going to post in the description. I've uploaded a zip file with tons of icons that you can use and stuff. And it's already preset out. So you won't have to do any work. So what you have to do is click on here to download. Save the file again somewhere easy like your desktop. And then wait for it to download. Depending on your internet speed, it may take a while because it is a big file. So I'll just leave the video and pause it for a second so you can do. So, now that's done, what we need to do is just open the zip file, and we'll close Firefox. From here we need to go to Computer, and locate Program Files, then drag and drop the folder from the zip file into Program Files, and it'll extract it. When this pops up, you just click on yes. If this pops up, just check do this for the next 8 conflicts, then copy and replace. If it pops up again, do the same. If you're an XP user, just go just click on yes all. So now that's done, what we can do is open the folder, click on rocket.exe, close this, and you can see that everything's set up already. Now guaranteed, you're probably not going to be able to use all the shortcuts that are included, because basically you probably won't have the same software as me. So what you can do is click on one of the tabs, it'll bring up a stack, doublet, click on open folder, and you'll see all the shortcuts in there. You can remove the, some shortcuts if you don't have them, and you can add shortcuts yourself. So we'll close that. If you click on log off, it'll log off your PC. Obviously I'm not going to do it because, well, I'm recording this video right now. If you right click on the dock, and then go to dock settings, this will bring up all the settings for your Rocket Dock. If you click on Style, then you can select your skin. There is a Leopard one too, if you want the Leopard skin. I use Vista Black. There's a multitude of things you can do, so you'll have to check it out for yourself. If you want to change where it is on your monitor, just right click on the dock, go to Screen Position, it'll be top by default. So you can go to Bum and it'll be on the bottom. Although, when you have that, I recommend you move the taskbar to the top, like an Apple Mac. If you right-click on the Rocket Dock again, you can select it so it's on the left. Right-click again, you can select it so it's on the right. I'm going to pour it back to the top. 
This one here is for your recycle bin. If you right click on it, you can empty it straight away. One last thing, changing the icons. If you want to change your icon or your dock, you just have to right click on the tab, then go to icon settings. Here it'll bring the settings for the stack docklet. It'll show you what folder and where it is. It'll tell you your icon. You can change the icons to be sorted by name, creation time, last modified, and etc. And you can have it so you can change it to grid or fan. Now for the icons. With the stack docklet settings open, just click here. And you'll see a load of icons that have gathered over time. I don't know who's done all of these off the top of my head, but I have got them from DeviantArt.com. So if you're watching this video and you recognize your own work, please tell me so I can credit you. Of course, you will have to show proof. You can go through all these yourself. Once you pick one, you just need to click on OK and then it'll say it. I'm just going to click cancel because I want to keep it. And that's uh, pretty much it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.